Hey, short term rental family, how are you? I had a really good call with one of my investors. They purchased a house for 1.7, 1.8 million. You can see it on the records on the website as well. And uh, <laughs> right now they're doing $1,000 nightly rates as well as wedding, wedding reservations for up to $15,000 a weekend. So I'm just baffled and I'm very happy that they're, they now have a property producing between ten dollars to $20,000 of profits a month. How do we do that? We do it um, with a very specific formula that I'm about to show you in this video. Stick around, I'm gonna surprise you and show you a house in Seminole. This is unincorporated Seminole. And just to drive into this road, you have to go through a little bridge. And as you, I don't know if I should just walk you outside, but it's a really, really nice neighborhood and community. Yeah, I just kind of want to peek and show you the type of houses that are in this community. Let me just zoom here. I'll do a massive zoom here. You see that at the bottom? Wait a second. Really, really nice community. You come into the house and you have all this vegetation. And what's important about this is the privacy. Because a house like this is a venue that people will use to host very large reservations. As I mentioned, weddings, graduations, and family vacations. And when you have a large group of people that are staying in a house like this, you're gonna have a lot of noise. And it's important that your neighbors are not going to be upset about it and frustrated with it. So in order for us to have these very large reservations, we need to have a large plot of land. And right now we're looking at a lot that is 1.2 acres. And that only has obviously the main house that it's 3,700 square foot, listed for $1.6 million, with five bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. It also comes with a guest house. <laughs> so, and look at this nice cardboard. Folks, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the ability to produce income of a place like this when you have a place like this we're talking up to two hundred thousand dollars a year okay and we have plenty of comparables to show you that that is absolutely possible and i've seen those units performing at the two hundred thousand they don't have as much as we have in this home okay so that being said this place is going to require some touch-ups and it's going to require furnishing also 1.6 million dollars gives us a lot of room to negotiate credits and if you've worked with me or any of my clients watching this i am a tiger when it comes to protecting and doing the best possible with your money and your investment so that being said, let's go ahead and start taking a look at this humongous home in this sunny, sunny Florida day. We got this garage that has access to the first floor. Some vegetation out here. What will be the op optimal potential of a house like this? I think it should be between $250,000 to $280,000 uh, a year. And that's with really good management. But I think that if we were to, like I said, focus on weddings and different sort of venues as well, it could optimize that income drastically. So as we come in the house, we have access to the stairs up, go upstairs the second floor. We have some sort of a living room, dining room area here, and here's the kitchen. So we're gonna show you the first floor in the beginning. We'll start here. And then we're gonna go to the second floor. So it's always start with the kitchen. And that's our friend Thumb right here, it's a listing agent. So if you have any questions, either one of us can, can reach out to either one of us. But anyways, we got appliances, kitchen bay, plenty of storage. 
kitchens large enough for groups faucets may be something a little bit more functional and we have a real wood burning fireplace and access to the pool which i'll show you in just a minute so another view of the kitchen right here and we got this really stylish in my opinion floors they they look a little bit old but i think that's what gives it so much i don't know what would be the word character and here's your backsplash with your garnet and the texture of your cabinets here's a closer look at the chandelier and again all the space that's in this kitchen here's another dining room living room area i would definitely set this up as a game room ping pong table pool table everything that you can imagine here i'll have the playstation the big screen all the speakers double fans we already got and now here we've got some sort of a suite so check this out folks imagine the amount of income potential the, the potential to create income with a house like this we got the garage here as well as carports we got a little laundry room here and a storage just so you kind of have a good idea of what we're looking at and then we come we have a master room this is almost like a suite you see this so the suite has its own closet and it's a big house so we're gonna move a little bit quicker than we normally do okay but here would be a master bedroom as you can see with access to the patio to the pool area which again as you notice it's a nice pool we're gonna get there soon and we got this huge bathroom here with a bathtub hello everybody and we got double sink so as i mentioned I, in my opinion a house like this is ready to roll there will be a few things to do like cleaning out these grouts and professionally cleaning the place but i would roll with these carpets i would roll with these fans i would roll with the switches the way it is honestly it's just already has enough character to it it may not be the perfect version of the house but i think that it's it's ready to roll in my opinion okay uh, up to my standards if i wanted to start producing income with this house i would and then as i bring the money i will take it out and put it back into the business anyways we got a guest bathroom here which is perfect because here's an airbnb hideout because we're gonna have a lot of action going on here we're gonna have here's another fire pit if you're gonna have a pool table back here maybe a bar area people are gonna be drinking enjoying themselves we got bathroom as well as this whole whole space right here here's the second phase of that fireplace and this right here is gonna be your tv room in my opinion could work as one and you have a winery check this out so again, this is exactly what we're looking. Not sure if these are included, but if we buy the house, I'll make sure I fill that up for you. <laughs> Anyways, we have access to a porch here. Oops, I got what I just did. Anyways, we're not gonna cut this out, folks. You know I make mistakes. All right. It looks like it's gonna rain now, it's so weird. But look, we're on the right side of the house and we have this netted porch area, which I think it's really cool. It really, really gives you a different space that you could use maybe for dining purposes or um, just reading areas, area for people to sit there and talk. But anyways, that's the first floor for you guys. I think we've covered most of it. We had that huge master suite which is almost two rooms. And we got this incredible living space that connects with the kitchen. We get to see a little bit of the second floor from here. And we got these large glass doors. I believe these are impact rated. Honestly, they feel like rock. Definitely double pen. So I don't know if I should be out here at this point. We've only seen the first floor, but look, this is our pool area. We got some fans, TV, enclosure this is a saltwater pool and i believe it does have a heater is what they said so we're gonna take a look at those things in a minute and find out if that's true um 
lovely, lovely. It's been resurfaced and they used the nice color. So it's like this, oops, excuse me. So it's like this darker blue. And again, guys, the business, this is the business, folks. This, this whole area here, having the access to a jacuzzi and a tree house and having more people staying in that area and people coming in and out, everybody gathering in this same space. It's just exactly what we are looking for in this business. So now, briefly, again, we have so much space to cover. We're into 10 minutes on this video, so let's go ahead and move our butts a little faster here. I like this room. It's like the cozy room. I don't know, it reminds, this is where the family sits and, and has a, a really deep conversation. <laughs> All right, so we go upstairs. We've got this, what is this right here? Or a toy room. A phone room. And it comes with this phone. Huh. This is pretty cool. If you notice, I had no idea. I was not expecting that. So I'm pretty baffled to see that. So here's room number two. You could say it's room number three. We have that double space downstairs. So let's say one, two, two rooms, storage, room number three. Okay. Room number four, uh, sorry, guest bathroom, room number four. It's much smaller room, could be more of a kid's room. We got double pan all throughout the windows. And I'm sorry, folks, if you're wondering what's gonna look uh inside of the guest house it's occupied right now we won't be able to show that today and here's another kids room so you can definitely have an enormous <laughs> amount of children <laughs> just kind of turning this room into a game area uh, a playful space is what i'm thinking and we got this skylight room bathroom which i believe could be turned into something pretty cool. Hmm. You can see you could make it look, you can make this a very interesting part of the house. But either way, I think that covers the whole second story. I wish we had some more uh, the ability to show you the guest house. As I said, it's occupied. So I'm just gonna finish up by walking the outdoors, walking the exterior of the house here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and do that and finish up the tour. So, got vegetation all over. We got a lot of trees. That's something that we need to make sure we watch for. That it's going to be something that's manageable. Oops. All right, let me just break through here and just show you the outdoors area, which again, I really like having this jacuzzi out here obviously comes with the purchase of the house as well as this guest uh, tree house look they even have furniture up there that's awesome let me just take a closer look at that and then we have a hill so look this is more space could be used in different ways not sure if you like to do some camping sites you do have your neighbors view on the other side Again, I wish I could show you that, guys, so we could take a look at that guest house, but obviously it is included. Seems like we have septic, septic tanks, so something that we'll need to look into. And last but not least, I'm just curious. I mean, it looks like a good construction, and I think this could fly on our DNA, our BNB, as long as you have liability waivers and people are careful. You even have the slider. I've seen places on our DNA with tree houses, I've seen them with um, swings and everything. And it's just a matter of people being careful. I do see a lot of liability here with this being open like that, but I think it could be mitigated and used, all right? But it definitely gives the house a huge added bonus to have a nice tree house like this, to have the guest house, etc., etc., etc. Folks, if you have any questions, make sure you reach out. Also, if you'd like to hear more about uh, the other house, the location, what it looked like and our deal, how it went, I'm looking forward to hopefully sharing more with you on that. 
making a video in that house. They are actually programming a open house for wedding um, organizers because as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, now they're bringing about 20 to $25,000 a month on Airbnb by booking the place for about $1,000 a night, 25 nights a month. But they've discovered that there's also weddings that they can charge 10 to $15,000 for a single weekend. That being said, if you were to have, you know, four weddings and, you know, some days in between booked, we're, we're talking about over a hundred thousand dollars of production on a single property. It's, it sounds crazy. I know it does sound crazy, but it is true. All right, everybody. Hope you like this video and see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye. God bless you.